you. I'm so glad that I was invited today, and I'm so glad that you're here. Um, as Dr. Mankin said, the, uh, you will um, see a couple of people before you ever see me, but what we do is teamwork, and what they do impacts what I do so that I can take care of you. Um, I am a nurse anesthetist. I'm a nurse who does anesthesia. And the anesthesia is also a team approach. We have an anesthesiologist, a doctor who does anesthesia, and we work together. Um, so there's usually two or three people from anesthesia that you will meet on the day of your surgery, and if you come in preoperatively and, and, ha and talk, you will meet an anesthesiologist there too. But when you come into the hospital and then you go up into the pre-op area, the nurses will get you ready. They'll have you change clothes. They'll take your blood pressure and ask lots of questions to you and your um, parents. And the child life specialist is your best friend. They are the person that will uh, can answer any question. They can. They are very knowledgeable, and they can educate you about what is about to happen. And to the small little things like um, your. You need to change clothes, and this is why you're going to get an IV, and how we're going to get through with that, and um, on into how you're going to get into the operating room. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what they do before you even see me. One of the things that is the <clears throat> things that people will get a little more nervous about is you will have an IV. And that's the line so that we can give you fluid and medicine. Well, before they even start bringing this thing to you, which is always very intimidating, very scary, they will put probably a little cream on your um, arm and cover it with a sticker, a clear sticker. And then they'll ask all those questions. This will be the nurse that does that. Then when they come and they're ready to start the IV, They'll take that cream off, and it numbs you a little bit. You can't feel quite as much there. And they will spray a really cold spray there, and that numbs that area a little more. And then they take this tiny little needle, I mean tiny, tiny, and goes into the area that's already numb and numbs you again. So it makes the IV not painful. Sometimes you feel... You know, you, you can tell that there's somebody there that shouldn't hurt. Then I tell you a little, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the IV. This is it. They're going to place it. No needle. The needle goes away. And this is what's left in your arm. The reason I tell you that, because people get nervous about that. They go, oh, I can't bend my arm. I can't move my arm because it might stick me. No, nope. it's nothing there. It's just a very, very flexible, small catheter that will be hooked up to a bag kind of like this. And there's your breakfast, right there. <laughs> <laughs> There's no medicine in this bag. There is no, nothing but pretty much water and a few vitamins. Like I said, just a little breakfast because you will not have had anything to eat or drink since midnight. <clears throat> and so why do we do that? Because you need some fluid. You've not had anything. The other thing, and this is where it's important to me and to you and why I'm here, is this bag has these special little ports. And when you meet me, I will come to you, I will talk with you, I'll talk, the anesthesiologist will come and talk with you, and before we whisk you away into the operating room and you um, get to wear that pretty little um, gown and you get to have a pretty little hat on, um, I'll come to you and you'll see this and it'll seem like the Oh no, she's got a needle. Nope. I'll just give this. I'll have some medicine in there. 
and right through this little port, I'll give you medicine. And then you start getting the giggles. <laughs> and I don't care if you are two or 102 when you get this medicine. It's kind of like, oh, okay. This is kind of a funny little place. I call it happier to be here medicine. It makes all of us happier to be here. Moms and dads usually are the ones who need it most, but they <laughs> um, Yeah, they, they, sometimes I wish that um, I could give them some because I know that my patients want to be taken care of. It's mom and dad that we're sending out to the waiting room that they're going, I need something, and they just whisked my child away. Um, so when we get you into the operating room, and Amy and I will, will whisk you um, away to the operating room, and she'll tell a little bit about uh, this part two. Um, we will um, monitor you. We know more about you than you know about you at that point. By the time we ask all the questions, and we will monitor your heart and your blood pressure and your oxygen. We know everything there is to know about you. We know how much medicine to give. We know how much medicine to continue to give. We're with you the whole time and we'll give you medicine the whole time that's going to let you sleep during this whole procedure. We will put stickers on your chest that show us that you have a heart. We'll use our blood pressure cuffs. We'll probably, you may get those in the pre-op area. And then we have a couple of stickers that measure the oxygen in your system. They're connect, all this is connected to wires, and these are taped onto your fingers, either around it like this, or some of us use these that kind of go in this direction. Many of our IVs are wrapped with all these pretty little colors. And then I'll give you more medicine straight through your IV, straight through these ports that will help you sleep. And you will be sleeping throughout the whole procedure. And um, we will all, one of our, our side effects is um, it can be being sick on your stomach afterwards. We'll give you medicine to help prevent that. We'll give you medicine that are, that's going to start helping with um, pain control afterwards. We will give you fluid that will um, make so that you, because you haven't had anything to eat. Um, and again, there will be somebody from anesthesia with you at all times. Ready? Yeah, you ready? I, yeah, actually, we'll go with Amy first. Uh, one of the things about uh, anesthesia, of course, is the minute you're asleep, um, you can't protect yourself in terms of positioning or anything like that. So from that point on, we are extremely cautious about where you are, about where your limbs go, about how the padding is. Um, uh, we all watch out for that, everybody um, on the team. Uh, Renee will put pads on your eyes, so if you feel like you've had the tape on your eyes, you have. Sometimes she puts a little goop on, so you wake up your little blurry eye. Uh, that's just to protect, to keep them moist. Um, uh, but uh, the main thing is positioning and getting you set to go onto the operative table. And um, uh, among other things, like making sure I have all the right equipment, everything's in the room, that's very much Amy's job. So. Yeah. 